Hi everyone, it's Brittany. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're interested in finding more about the nine different specialty, then keep watching this so video. A couple of weeks ago on my Instagram, I asked you all if you're interested in becoming a specialist or a general dentist. And I was really surprised with the number of people that really want to go into specialty programs. So I think it was about like 64% people that wanted to become specialists. And I asked you all um, which specialties you're interested in. And there are the three top ones that everyone seems to just want to be, which is orthodontist, pediatric dentist, and oral and maxillofacial surgeon. So I'm going to be going down the list of nine different dental specialties. And I order them by how popular they are, as in how like the most applicants to the least applicants. And all the data that I got was from the 2016 to 2017 survey of ad advanced dentistry, um, which you can find on the ADA website. Okay, so the first one, of course, you guessed it, orthodontics. Orthodontics, as you know, everyone knows, deals with braces. A lot of people are have braces, so that's why they want to become orthodontists, I guess. I think according to the 2016 to 2017 data had 11,279 applicants and 393 applicants were accepted which means it has a 3.5 acceptance rate and the orthodontics program is a two to three year program and the second most popular specialty would have to be you guessed it pediatric dentistry so as the name implies pediatric means children so pediatric dentists deal with um, patients who are 18 and under had 11,118 applicants with 457 um, that were accepted with a 4.1% acceptance rate and the program is between two to three years. The third most popular specialty would have to be oral and maxillofacial surgery and they do more than just tooth extractions. They deal with taking out cysts and tumors and reconstructing the jaw and dealing with soft tissue or anything like that, trauma. So that's what um, oral surgeons do. Um, it is very competitive and they have 10,448 applicants with 262 that um, were accepted. It has the lowest acceptance rate out of all the other specialties, which makes sense. I mean, yeah, but um, it had a 2.5% acceptance rate. The program can range to four to six years, and six years includes two years of medical school, medical school and then four years of oral surgery training. The fourth dental specialty is endodontics, and endodontics is more than just root canals. Um, their, like, their philosophy is to save the tooth. They don't want to take it out like oral surgeons do. They want to keep the tooth if it can be saved. Um, they deal with pulpal and periapical tissues and that pretty much means pulpal is the nerve of the tooth inside and the periapical is around the root of the tooth. Um, and the program is two to three years and it has 4,327 applicants with 220 that are accepted with a 5.1 acceptance rate. Next, the fifth most popular dental specialty is periodontics and periodontics People kind of think of it as like the gum doctor, which is like so much more than that. Um, periodontium actually means like the different tissues that support the tooth. So it's more than just the gums. It's like the ligaments and things like that. And some procedures that they do is crown lengthening. So if you have like a gummy smile, they can fix that. Um, they can do gum grafts. They can do pocket reductions. Lots of cool procedures too. And it has 2,562 applicants with 199 acceptance and 7.8% um, acceptance rate. So the sixth most popular dental specialty is prosthodontics. And prosthodontics, at first I thought, oh, is it just dentures? These people just make dentures. No, it's more than that. Um, they deal with fixing and replacing missing teeth actually and they deal with a lot of aesthetic issues too. So besides dentures, they work with crowns, bridges, anything that can replace missing teeth and add beauty to it. It has 2,277 applicants with 159 that are accepted with a 7% acceptance rate. Okay, now you guys probably know those six 
specialties. Now these three, I had no idea that they existed before I went to dental school, but they are there. Seventh most popular is dental public health. And you're like, what? Dental public health? That's a specialty. It is actually the first recognized specialty. Dental public health deals with the control and the prevention of dental disease. And each year about 166 applicants apply and 36 people make it with a 21% 0.7% acceptance rate and the program is about 14 and a half months okay then there is the eighth most popular which is the oral and maxillofacial radiology not surgery but radiology so this has to deal with a lot of the advancements of our technology today in the dental department there can be a 2.5 three or five year program and about 150 applicants apply and 18 people are accepted with um, an acceptance rate of 12%. And the last dental specialty would have to be oral and maxillofacial pathology. So there's surgery, radiology, and then pathology. So pathology, um, these are dentists that really work behind the scenes. They work with microscopes, they take biopsies, work with radiographs, and they kind of decipher a lot of the pathology and the diseases that can go on in the oral and the maxillofacial area. So they don't directly deal with patients, they're more of like the behind the scenes kind of detectives. Each year about 91 applicants apply and 16 people um, make it and 17.6% acceptance rate and the program is about three years. Okay, so that is pretty much the end of my video. There's a lot of stats and everything and you might be worried, oh my god, like I can't be an oral surgeon because there's a 2.5% acceptance rate. That's not necessarily the case. Just because these numbers are really like scary and daunting doesn't mean that you don't have what it takes. Definitely keep continuing to dream big, work hard, and to never give up to reach whatever your goals may be, whether it is to become a specialist or a general dentist, which is absolutely fine. Comment down below the specialty that you were most surprised about, like, wow, it existed. Comment down below what specialty you are interested in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!